Saldana, a professor of Latin American and Latino Studies at uh, New York University, the Department of Social and Cultural Analysis. And today I was part of a very, very vibrant uh, seminar that discussed the first chapter of my forthcoming book, Indian Given, The Racial Geographies of Mexico, the U.S., and Aztlan. Uh, it's a chapter that considers the different uh, representations of indigenous peoples in New Spain and New England, comparing the Valladolid controversy of 1550 to uh, the, U the 1763 proclamation, royal proclamation by the British. But what it really is about is uh, how the Spaniards imagined the territory of, the, of New Spain as teeming with potential converts to a Christian unity, a Catholic Christian unity, that it was their mission to um, integrate, uh, and the controversy that revolves over how to integrate them, whether they should be enslaved or whether they are free subjects who have the right to their territory and their goods and, and their actions and their freedom. Uh, it was a very important moment in the future constitution of the integration of indigenous peoples into uh, Mexico. And in contrast, I think about a moment after the French and uh, French and Indian War in the United States where Britain tries to <laughs> preserve all of the territory west of the Allegheny Mountains for indigenous peoples, but uh, U.S. Uh, well, what future uh, revolutionary elite of the U.S., like Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson and um, uh, William Penn, argue vehemently that that land, that Indians are in fact free and therefore they should be free to sell their land to the uh, colonists. And well, we all know who won that debate. And uh, but that moment is very important in the formation of the idea of U.S. exceptionalism, especially around notions of freedom and equality.